Your website has a purpose. It's really one of your most powerful sales tools. Do you have an online store and you sell things? Are you a blogger? Your goal is to create readership and have pay-per-click ads clicked on? Or perhaps you're a service provider and you need someone to fill out your contact form so that you can have an in-person interaction with them to close the sale. Your website has a purpose. Just like you set goals in your business plan, you should also set goals in your analytics and you should track them. And here's how we're going to set that up. First, navigate to your analytics panel. In the conversions menu, you'll see goals. Click overview and you can see a glance of some of the data you can receive if you are tracking your goals. To set up a goal, let's click on admin here at the top and then we're going to go under the view menu down to goals. Now rather than set up a new goal from scratch, I'm going to walk you through one that we have already created. The process is the same. To obviously select new goal to set up a new goal. For us, I'm going to edit an old one and show you how those are completed. Give a name to your goal. For us, as a service provider, the name of our form is contact form. When someone completes the contact form, they will have completed the goal that we would like our website to track. Step two, enter a destination. This is the URL that analytics will look at to see if your goal has been completed. When someone completes a contact form, they will be directed to a thank you page. So we will put in the URL for the thank you page in order to say this goal is complete. Here in the example that they give you below, they tell you don't put in the root. So I'm not going to say www.mydomain.com. I'm just going to put slash thank slash. And then I'm going to click save goal. The other step, that's all you have to do. Give it 24 hours or so to spider your site and you should see some data. That's everything you need to do in your analytics panel. However, to make sure that your data is pure, let's go ahead and go into our thank you page and let's scroll down into our um, WordPress SEO by Yoast. There are many plugins that do this sort of thing. We're going to tell it to not index this page. That way the source data um, is pure. It is simply the people who land on it from an analytics page, not someone who might stumble upon this otherwise. And that's all there is to it. Please comment below if you have any questions.